when we look at the efficiency of the design, we're doing a contrast between our customer's design and their competitors. And as we look at those efficiencies and we look for the opportunity to improve upon it, we're looking for waste in the design. Where is the part more expensive than it needs to be? Where is it heavier than it needs to be? Where is it driving more labor to assemble? And so as we do that, uh, we quantify the opportunities, how to improve the design in such a way that it could reduce costs, reduce mass, reduce labor. As we look at the costing, our approach is to use what we refer to as delta costing. It's not the actual cost of a part. Uh, that is a very complicated uh, situation that has much to do with negotiating power and the way things are bundled. But we look at delta. And so what we'll do is contrast two designs. And as we do that, we ask the question, what material is it made of? How is it processed? How much time does it take? How much labor does it take? And then we'll calculate a delta between those two designs and we'll quantify an improvement opportunity. This is a, a, a relatively simple example. This is from an exhaust hanger perspective. And in this case, on this particular chassis, there are two tubes that are welded to this cross member. And that's how the exhaust is hung. In contrast, another design has a bracket such as this. So this piece had to be stamped and formed like this. These rods had to be bent and upended. Then they have to be welded here and here. Then they have to be welded here and here. Then they have to be assembled with fasteners driving additional labor. So in this case, the part comes in as a part of the assembly. In this strategy, a different part is made. And so we'll look and we will calculate how much does it cost in material and processing and labor to do this? How much does it do here? And then we make that comparison, that delta. And we're able to quantify and say, there is an opportunity to improve the efficiency of the design and it's worth about this much money.